All right, welcome in. The 49ers have made their roster moves ahead of the game against the Seahawks, which is coming up in about three plus hours. Obviously, everything is a little bit more condensed on these shorter weeks. This would normally be what? If it was a Sunday game, it'd be like Thursday, right? But today's Thursday and it is a Thursday game. So the 49ers had to make the moves quickly and they were really forced to a deadline with one of their IR transactions for one of their defensive tackles. So the practice squad activations, Janoris Jenkins and Willie Sneed the fourth are going to be up for the 49ers from the practice squad. And I am going to open up the depth chart so we can illustrate all of this because I think that it's a little bit more complicated today because the 49ers also had to figure out the whole situation with Hassan Ridgeway and Kevin Givens, two of their defensive tackles who are hurt. Anyway, you have Janoris Jenkins, the veteran cornerback, 34-year-old, former All-Pro several years ago, last played for Tennessee, intercepted Jimmy Garoppolo on December 23rd last year. He'll be up. I'm guessing he's going to be a special teams addition, but uh, if the 49ers do need emergency corner depth with Dante Johnson having torn his ACL, Janoris Jenkins can obviously be that, and he could be thrust into this game. Willie Sneed, the fourth emergency receiver depth, special teams help for a 49ers team. That's missing Debo Samuel. But here on this sheet, we can actually highlight Janoris Jenkins in the customary kind of gold slash yellow. That's what I do for practice squad activations. So you see Jenkins here. That's obviously at a position where Dante Johnson has been lost for the season. He was a former practice squad guy who would uh, add depth. I, by the way, I saw Dante in the locker room the other day. He, he was in good spirits. I usually don't see guys who had just torn their ACL a couple days ago in the locker room, but he said he's got to start the rehab really quick and get back into the Bay Area. I'm guessing he's doing his rehab in L.A. because his wife is expecting a child on February 19th, I think Dante told me. So good for him. I mean, he's had such a tough last year, right, with his mother passing away last year. Now the ACL tear, you really feel for him. Uh, but he does have good news on the way on the family front. So Dante Johnson still around the facility right now, but it's going to be doing some rehab. We move to the offensive side of the ball. Willie Sneed is the 49ers other activation. So I'm going to select this highlight Willie Sneed in that gold color. And obviously Debo Samuel out for three ish weeks, according to Kyle Shanahan. So Sneed is going to be at that receiver spot. Now, there have been more moves made by the 49ers. There's been a practice squad promotion. So that means permanent practice squad promotion for Akeem Spence. Akeem Spence is no longer on the practice. He's on the 53-man roster. And if you look at the roster down here, you can see why. Here's defensive tackle. I just highlighted the whole position group. You have a lot of pink in there. Kevin Givens is hurt. Kerry Hyder is hurt. Hassan Ridgeway is hurt. And Akeem Spence is healthy, and he's on the practice squad. Now, you only get three practice squad activations to the 53 per year per player. The 49ers have already used up all of Spence's. So if they want Spence to play for him, and they obviously do with all these defensive tackles hurt, they have to promote him full-time to the 53-man roster. To make room for that move, the 49ers have put Hassan Ridgeway on injured reserve. So let's conduct the move on our spreadsheet right here. Hassan Ridgeway goes to IR. We erase him here. We move Ridgeway over to IR on this side. Maybe he replay. Uh, maybe Javon Kinlaw comes off of IR, so it doesn't look nearly as crowded in the future. But for the time being, it's going to be a crowded list featuring a lot of defensive tackles, either on NFI or IR for the 49ers. Boom, there's Ridgeway. Opens up a spot. We can take off the injury designation, and we could slide Akeem Spence over into Ridgeway's old spot. Now, for Akeem, this is essentially a pay raise. IR salary, uh, practice squad salary is about 200000 a year. The minimum for 53-man salaries is about a million per year. He's not going to make all of that, but per week, he's going to be paid the prorated amount of that. So, Akeem Spence gives the 49ers another defensive tackle. They obviously signed Michael Dwumfor to the practice squad this week. So, he essentially takes Spence's space on the practice squad. And if you look over here on the left side, the 49ers now have a full 53-man roster with one new name, Akeem Spence. Now, the thing about Hassan Ridgeway out for the season, this means that Hassan Ridgeway is almost certainly done for the regular season. Hassan Ridgeway was on a timetable of about six to eight weeks, which would run up right to the end of the playoffs. Kevin Givens sprained his MCL, but it's a shorter return prognosis 
I'm thinking four to six based on what I'm gathering. So the 49ers couldn't afford to keep both defensive tackles injured on their 53-man roster. It would have compromised their depth elsewhere. So they had to pick between one or the other. They're obviously not going to IR Jimmy Garoppolo with him having a chance to return this season. And they have those limited spots to return, right? Only two spots left for return from IR designations. You think that Elijah Mitchell's probably going to get one of those, and Javon Kinlaw's probably going to start practicing next week. So he should be in line for yet another one of those. So the 49ers need to save those return from IR spots, and they need to save roster flexibility. So they had to put either one of Hassan Ridgeway or Kevin Givens on IR. And Givens is scheduled to come back sooner. And I think that Givens gets a, a little bit more playing time and is a little bit better of a defensive tackle for this football team. So they essentially pick Givens. Ridgeway to IR. Cut out there for just a second. Anyway, Kevin Givens picked over Ridgeway. We might see Givens back into the regular season. And then the playoffs, obviously, Ridgeway. It would take a miracle for him to be back in the lineup since the 49ers only have two return from IR spots left. Brock Purdy news. You guys probably already know this, but Brock Purdy is expected to play against the Seahawks. That was according to Adam Schefter a little bit earlier. All right, I'm in the hotel right now. Going to head down to the stadium Start pumping out the content from there. We'll take a look at Purdy during warm-ups. We'll take a look at all the 49ers players on a chilly yet sunny afternoon in Seattle. It's obviously going to be dark by game time. But the 49ers are locked and loaded. Janoris Jenkins, Willie Sneed up from the practice squad. Akeem Spence promoted full-time for the practice squad. So expect all three of these players to see some sort of action tonight. And bigger picture roster move, Hassan Ridgeway is not going to be playing anymore for the 49ers this year. It's going to be Kevin Givens if and when he does return from the MCL sprain. All right, hope that helps you understand the roster machinations. We'll talk to you from Lumen Field here in Seattle. Everybody enjoy tonight.